All right, group two, welcome back, and let's get started on the reading for the week of January 27th through February 1st. And here we go. to shuffle these. <laughs> they keep coming up. That's hilarious. I haven't even started shuffling and they're all wanting to jump out. All right. Oop. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, that's so funny. All right. I like the gummy bear deck because it brings kind of a lighter feel to it. Okay, so we're doing a layered reading today, so I'll be using the tarot and Lernerman, and it will be um, bring us more information for what the energy is coming in uh, this week for you. Okay, let's see. See you better that way. All right, next layer. Okay, so so far, what I'm seeing is a relationship, but let's see. Either at work or Personal relationship. Oh, let's see what the other cards bring in. Could be a relationship with a boss. Okay, wait. Sorry, I have to put them down in the correct order. Okay. okay. Here we go. Let's see what is happening for the Citrine group this week. So let's just start here. This is the central of the reading. This is the, so we have the emperor and the bear, which tells me the focus of this week has to do with uh, somebody in your life, a authority figure in your life. So this could be in your personal life, it could be at work but it's about this person. So whatever resonates with you, let's try to keep going. And we have, so in regards to this person in your life, this energy in your life, we have what's directly above you on your mind. We have the lovers uh, combined with the mountain. And the mountain brings in maybe some blocking, blocking blocking in your life. So since it's with the lover's card, you have some blocking with a relationship, a love relationship, or just a partnership of some sort. Okay, so there's some blocking there. And then we have, over here we have the ship and the four of wands in reverse. So there's some, there's blocking and movement and, and coming together it could it could be that you you're not you're not your mind you're not meeting <laughs> you're having trouble meeting with ideas 
with beliefs, with um, whatever, whether it's a, if it's a work situation, then you know you're you're not quite coming together with ideas, uh, or you're not on the same page. In a relationship, same thing, but in a relationship sense. But over here we have the clover and the empress. So, and I would I would say that this would be uh, your energy. That you're feeling okay, you're feeling like it's gonna be okay, and uh, although you may have to surrender a little but it's going to come together with that surrender whatever the issues are maybe take a different uh, approach to them or whatever but this is what's directly in so this is what's surrounding you you have a friend here uh, so the two of cups but again you're not feeling like uh, they're totally on your side either and uh, but the truth will come the, the truth is kind of jumbled but it will come forth like it's not as clear it's not as clear-cut as you would hope but the good news about this is that again it's going to come together I feel like this energy in, in between here, you have the bear and the emperor here. The truth is gonna come forth and it's gonna come together. But here's some things you need to know about that, that know about this situation that you may not know, okay? And we have hidden, yeah. So we have the book and the nine of swords. So something's gonna be revealed. So you, there's some, there's something that hasn't it that's been concealed that's going to be revealed to help you help with this coming together okay so whatever this misunderstanding or not coming together with like minds it's going to be revealed and you have the page of cups and the fish so bringing this so information coming in okay and uh you know going with the flow here and then you have, so this is a money card as well. So I want, I kind of want to go back to this. So it may be some hidden money here, okay? So this may all be about some money issues that hasn't been revealed. So someone may be holding back with their information and not, and doing, you know, kind of the reason you're not meeting uh, meeting in the middle together is because there's something there's some hidden issues about money and maybe they're afraid to bring that forth so that's where the the conflict has been coming from so know that and then you have the crossroads and the world so I feel with this energy coming in that again you're going to be okay that there is a you that whatever path you take the path that you take with um in regards to all the information it's going to be you know okay it's coming around it's it, it's the right time it's the right time to to bring this to light okay let's i have a, a some of these couple animal spirit oracle cards to add to this okay we have okay so again this is uh, where this is all coming forth it says it's the penguin and it says the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing. So you're moving out of this energy and it's, it's going to come to light. This is all going to come to light. 
and you will be able to meet in the middle, uh, meet again with like minds. Let's do another one. Okay, and uh, what they are, what spirit is, the spirit's advice to you is let compassion and forgi forgiveness be the top priority in this situation. And again, that's where this comes in, this energy of, you know, maybe having to sur surrender a bit to make it, com to make it all okay. And that's where the compassion and forgiveness will be your top priority forgiveness and maybe what the reason they there's no sinister reason here why they'd be hiding this money situation so forgiveness and compassion and it will all pass so that is for the week this week for you and i am going to bless you and leave you with that